Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you this super simple, super sweet battery mod for the Flysky FSI6X right now. Man, it's good to be back with you sharing fun and helpful videos about RC stuff. I know I missed uh, putting out a couple videos, I think, in the past week or so, and that's a bummer, but uh, that is how life goes. But I'm back now, and what I wanna show you today is this battery mod that I did. So normally this takes AA batteries, as you know if you have one of these, and what I've done is just taken like a lithium uh, phone charger battery bank type of deal, and this is what I'm using, and it has, you know, just your, you know, your standard five volt out USB charger, five volt in to charge the actual battery. This one happens to be a uh, 2200 milliamp hour, so um, pretty good, a little bit more uh, capacity than the batteries that I had in here, the double A's. I usually use uh, Eneloop uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. Um, so all that I've done here is I have taken a USB cable and I chopped it to the appropriate length. This one actually turned out a teeny bit too short. Um, and then I took the two wires. This one was just a like a power USB cable, so it didn't have any uh, uh, wires for data. And I just, I just soldered them right on to a negative pad right here. Because um, what what this does is this all these these little metal pieces. It just runs four batteries in series. So you get um, about I think 5.4 volts or something, right around five volts. And this is your this is your negative, and this is your positive. And you can actually see the the red wire uh, down there and the black wire down there that goes from this little uh, battery compartment um, into the transmitter. That's really all there is to it. Now you might be thinking, well, Adam, that's kind of you know that's a little hodgepodge. Why would you you know do it like that? Because I've seen a lot of other people do it better. Well, that's true. I have also seen, you know, people taking, uh, doing the same, uh, similar idea with like, um, taking a phone charger battery type thing that already has, you know, it's like a lithium battery. So that's good. Cause you get better, uh, better runtime, better performance in, um, hot and cold weather, all that kind of stuff. And then they'll put it actually inside the case, or they might hack out a spot in the battery compartment or remove the battery compartment or something. Um, or they'll use like possibly a uh, lithium polymer battery, like a like this single cell and then step up the voltage to around five volts, which I guess is pretty efficient. Or they might use a two cell, so around 7.4 volts and then step down the voltage which I guess would be less efficient. But anyway, uh, so you could definitely do that. But here's the thing. I like this because um, it's just super simple. The battery charging, uh, you know, stuff, electronics and regulator and stuff is already in this 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 one little package. Um, I just, you know, connect the USB cable. It's good to go for charging. I just connect a micro USB cable, just like you'd charge your phone or other, you know, GoPro or something like that. So it's really very simple, and uh, if you need to charge your phone or some or, or your GoPro, you can just unplug your transmitter if you're not using it, and then charge up whatever you need to. So I like that. And then uh, as far as doing it like this, um, yeah, it's not the most sleek, but it is very simple. And uh, I haven't uh, used this a ton, so I haven't done a whole lot of testing as far as the difference in runtime and performance and that kind of thing, but. Um, so far, so good. Um, I would say that the, as far as the, the quality of these cables, I'm not super pleased with. It's kind of cheap, you know. I'm, I'm thinking these might break after a little while, so I may want to upgrade that. But you get the idea. I just wanted to kind of share this concept with you. Another thing that's cool about this is you could use different size batteries. You could also use a larger um, battery bank like this one. This one's a 9,000 milliamp hour battery bank and just stick that baby right on there. Um, and this one has two output ports. So you could very easily, you know, be using your transmitter and charge something else or maybe power, maybe power your goggles. I don't know, something like that. So anyway, it's just kind of something, something neat. And this way you don't have to mess around with uh, four double A's. And also, I could use a lithium polymer battery 
and probably I was going to use like a, I was going to use like a big two cell that I use for my goggles. But here's the thing. I only have one battery charger right now and I don't want to, you know, have another battery that I have to charge using the, the battery charger like that I would use for lithium polymers. This way I can just get any old, you know, phone charger type USB charger and uh, charge this baby up. And I feel like I've said charge a lot of times. Oh, and just to show you that it actually does work, um, we're gonna plug this in right here, and then we can turn this on and flip the switches up. Ta-da! And we get about 4.99 volts or so. I guess since this does have a lower, uh, st like a starting voltage, um, that as opposed to four AA batteries, I guess you would want to maybe change the, uh, the, the low voltage, um, alarm in this. So, but I haven't run into that yet. So I'm not, I haven't, I haven't messed with that yet, but just something to keep in mind there. And you could leave it like I have it here, or you could, you know, maybe integrate it, open up this case and put it in the case. Just, just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you're having a fantastic week. And uh, I will see you very soon. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hopefully uh, put out some extra videos this week if I'm feeling super motivated. Because part of the thing is that I've been swapping computers and video editing software and stuff. So I've been just kind of discombobulated right now. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.